Example, finding the mean. The probability distribution for the personality inventory test for passive aggressive traits is given. Find the mean score. So we have the table x as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. P of x or probability of x is probability of 1 is 0 0.16, probability of 2 is 0 0.22, probability of 3 is 0 0.28. Probability of 4 is 0 0.20 and probability of 5 is 0 0.14. We should remember that in finding the mean of the discrete probability distribution, we should multiply the x to its corresponding probability. So it becomes 1 times 0 0.16 is equal to 0 0.16. 2 times 0 0.22 is equal to 0 0.44. 3 times 0 0.28 is equal to 0 0.84. 4 times 0 0.20 is equal to 0 0.80. 5 times 0 0.14 is equal to 0 0.70. Then we should add all the products. 0 0.16 plus 0 0.44 plus 0 0.84 plus 0 0.80 plus 0 0.70 is equal to 2.94. And we should round off to the nearest tenths. So we have now the mean is approximately equal to 2.9. So our mean is 2.9. We should recall that the score of 3 represents an individual who exhibits neither passive nor aggressive traits, and the mean is slightly less than 3. So the mean personality trait is neither extremely passive nor extremely aggressive, but it is slightly closer to passive. Variance and standard deviation of the discrete probability distribution. The variance and standard deviation of the discrete probability distribution may be interpreted as the measures of variability of the values assumed by the random variable in repeated trials of the experiment. The variance of the discrete probability distribution can be computed using the formula. So the variance symbol squared equals Summation of the quantity of x minus mean squared times the probability. Then the standard deviation of discrete probability distribution is the square root of the variance. Thus, standard deviation is the square root of variance equals square root of summation of the quantity of x minus mean squared times the probability. The Probability distribution for the personality inventory test for the passive aggressive traits is given. Find the variance and standard deviation. Using the same data with our previous example, we have solved that our mean is 2.94. So in finding the variance, we should find the difference between the x and the mean. Then this difference will be squared and then multiplied by the probability. Let's begin when our x is 1. 1 minus 2.94 is negative 1 minus 94. 2 minus 2.94 is equal to negative 0 0.94. 3 minus 2.94 is equal to 0 0.06. 4 minus 2.94 is equal to 1.06. 5 minus 2.94 is equal to 2.06. Then squared. The squared of the difference between 1 minus 2.94 is equal to 3.764 The difference in our x is equal to 2 is 0 a negative 0 0.94 squared is equal to 0 0.884 When our x is 3 the difference is 0 0.06 then squared will become 0 0.004 When our x is 4 the difference is 1.06 then squared is equal to 1.124. The difference when our x is 5 is 2.06, then 2.06 squared is equal to 4.244. Then this squared shall be multiplied with its corresponding probability. So 3.764 times 0 0.16, which is its corresponding probability, is equal to 0 0.0. 0 .0 0 0.602 0 0.884 times with its corresponding probability which is 0 0.22 is equal to 0 0.194 0 0.004 times 0 0.28 is equal to 0 0.001 1.124 times 0 0.20 
is equal to 0 0.225. 4.244 times 0 0.14 is equal to 0 0.594. Then, we can now find the variance by finding the sum of the product. So, we have now 0 0.062 plus 0 0.194 plus 0 0.001 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.594 is equal to 1.6164. So our variance now is equal to 1.6164. Then in finding the standard deviation, we should only square root of the variance. The square root of 1.6164 will be approximately equal to 1.3. So we have now our variance and standard deviation of the discrete probability distribution. We are now in the last section of this topic, the expected value. The expected value of a discrete random variable is equal to the mean of the random variable. So the formula in finding the expected value is expected value of x is equal to the mean, which is the mean is equal to the summation of x times the probability of x or the summation of the product of x and its probability. So example in finding the expected value of the discrete random variable. Situation. At your raffle, 1,500 tickets are sold at $2 each for four prizes of $500, $250, $150, and $75. You buy one ticket, find the expected value and interpret its meaning. So we have now the solution. To find the gain for each price, subtract the price of the ticket from the prizes. So we have the prizes of $500, $250, $150, and $75. So each prize will be subtracted with the ticket price. So your gain for the $500 price is $500 minus $2 is equal to $498, $250 minus $2 is equal to $248, $150 minus $2 is $148, then $75 minus, $75 minus $2 is equal to $73, then if you don't win a prize, you gain or you lose negative $2. Probability distribution for the possible gains or outcomes. We have now the table labeled as x and probability of x. Our x is the gain which is obtained the difference between the four prizes minus the ticket price. So the first prize is $498. The probability of winning is 1 over 1,500. 1,500 which is the total number of raffle tickets. Winning the second prize is 1 over 1,500. Winning the third prize is 1 over 1,500. Same thing as winning the fourth prize as 1 over 1,500. So if you do not win the prize, you have the probability of 1,496 over 1,500. 1,496, we obtain 1,496 because 1,500 minus the four prizes is equal to 1,496. So we should find the expected values. So remember that expected values is equal to the mean of the discrete probability distribution. So expected value is equal to summation of the product of x and its probability. So $488 times 1 over 1,500 plus $248 times 1 over 1,500 plus $148 times 1 over 1,500 plus $73 three dollars times one over one thousand five hundred plus negative two dollars times one thousand four hundred ninety six over one thousand five hundred will be equal to negative one point thirty five dollars so our expected value is negative one point thirty five dollars so you can expect to lose an average of one point thirty five dollars for each ticket you buy